Hey Warriors, it's Victoria. I just want to do a quick intro to this video from a series I did in Maui about a way you can break the code for anxiety. Because I know right now in the middle of this COVID crisis, there's a lot of anxiety going on. And so I just want to share these, this principle that I think is really relevant for our times. And I'm going to come back on at the end and just share a little bit more. So I hope you enjoy it coming to you from Maui after sunset and I just want to share with you about states and recipes. So you know this is some NLP terminology and I actually learned about it years and years ago and it really made a difference in my life and so it's been fun to kind of re-implement it during my recovery but basically I was first exposed to the idea through Tony Robbins and what I learned was that, you know, we, we have states that we're in. So you can be in a happy state or a sad state, depressed state, motivated state. And you know what? We actually have control over these states that we're in. And the interesting thing is, is that we have recipes that get us into this state. So just like we have a recipe for a cake and you put in flour and eggs and butter and sugar, well, your, your states require a recipe to get into. And so the things that they're made up of are thoughts. And so there are thoughts that create a recipe for a certain state. So I just want you to be aware of this concept and just be thinking about it and watch. Okay, if you find yourself in a state that you don't wanna be in, realize that you don't have to stay in that state and that you can change your state. That's an important thing in NLP is learning how to change your state. And that would be through either movement and action and going and doing something completely different, getting your focus completely in a different direction, or changing that thought recipe. So what I used to do back in the day when I first learned about this is I would actually write a list of what thoughts would get me into a certain state. Like if I was really bugged about something or you know something was depressing me, I began to look at what were the thoughts that were running in my mind that led me to that end product of the state. And then by changing one of those thoughts or one of those elements, that's how you break the state, uh, how you break the recipe. Because then, let's say you put flour and eggs, but you didn't include sugar and butter, well, you're not gonna get the same cake that you would have gotten had you put all that recipe together. So when you change one or two aspects of this recipe, you can begin to change the states. And then you can also begin to look at how do you create positive, life-affirming and health-enhancing states and begin to build a recipe like, oh, I wanna think about gratitude, I wanna give thanks for all the things that are in my life right now, and then I wanna think about the positive things that have happened to me in the past, and then I wanna create some good predictions about what's gonna happen this afternoon or tomorrow. Well, that recipe could lead to a really relaxed state, which is only gonna help and enhance your healing. So anyway, warriors, just want you to be aware of states and the recipes that you're using to create them. All right, warriors, thanks for watching. I hope you found that helpful. You know, in these difficult times right now with COVID-19, it's completely understandable that there's stress and anxiety, you know, but is it helpful? And that's what we need to look at. Let's do what we can as far as taking precautions, doing the things we need to do for our families and for ourselves to protect everyone. But at the same time, think about this anxiety. Is it helpful and is it useful for me? One thing I heard a pastor say that's really been resonating with me is I will not let what I can't control control me. So if there's, I've done what I can do, I got to let the rest go. So when you find yourself getting into an anxiety state, take a moment, write down the recipe that got you there. You know, one thing I found is feeding on the news can really create a lot of recipe. I like to be informed, but not overwhelmed. So I allow myself a daily check-in and that's it. So anyway, you might write on a list. Oh, I was watching the news and I began to ponder these things. Then I started thinking about my kids and worrying if they're washing their hands enough. And then I was thinking about my parents. And then maybe you start running pictures like I have of, oh, doomsday coming, you know, all these horrible pictures that we've seen in the movies, right? So anyway, when you see that happening, 
jot it down, mix it up, change some of those ingredients in the recipe. And then I really encourage you to get a sheet of paper and to start writing down other recipes that you want to create, like calm and confidence during this time of uncertainty. So that way you're finding useful and helpful states that will enable you to be your best during this time. And if you need help with this, I highly recommend you hop on over to CFS Warriors Academy. Amazing things are happening in there. Mentors are sharing daily to help all of us through this time. So again, that's CFS Warriors Academy on the Facebook forum. And I hope that you will check out the rest of my videos. I've got a huge content, library content that you can pull from to help you through difficult days after all the things that I went through in my own journey where I like to share lessons I've learned because you know those are some really deep dark times when you're struggling with CFS and yet there is hope for recovery and I just want to always remind you of that. So remember warriors life's not over it's starting again and I speak life health and wholeness over you and I'm sending you powerful punches of high five energy into your life. So take care warriors.